We would like to have the right to produce wines of our choosing. We're not asking for anything that other wineries don't have. We would just like an equal playing field. My name is Nan Bailey. I own a winery called Alexis Bailey Vineyard. We're located in Hastings, Minnesota. My father founded our winery in 1973 with the idea of producing wines from Minnesota grown grapes. As a young child, I had a lot of interest in what my father was doing. I did an internship in France to learn about wine. And when my father passed away in 1990, I came to own the winery and I've been making wine here ever since. I sometimes joke I'm the hardest working winemaker in the world, given the conditions I'm growing grapes under. My father used to always tell me that I should make wine that I like just in case I do have to drink it. And uh, I think I have a good palate and I make wine to sort of my tastes. I think I'm a pretty thoughtful winemaker. The key to producing a good wine would be in uh, blending. It would be the sort of alchemy of mixing wines together to create the perfect harmony, the perfect balance. A lot of the grapes that we grow in Minnesota because we have a cooler climate tend to be higher in acidity, which is not a style of wine that I like to make because I don't think it's a very approachable style and I think most consumers also reject acidic wines. So to get that proper balance, it's advantageous for me to be able to bring in fruit from a climate say like California where it's very hot and they may have low acid. I can blend the two together to find exactly the perfect balance I'm looking for in my wine. In the state of Minnesota, we've been required to produce 51% of our wines from locally grown grapes. From our vineyard, we could purchase grapes from other vineyards in the state. Unfortunately, we have a finite number of vineyards that are actually producing, so it only allows me to bring in 49% of my total production from out of state. It is restrictive on my ability to produce as much wine and the types of wine, maybe more importantly, that I would like to produce. That choice should be mine to make, not something that would be dictated by the government. The consequences of having to produce wine under the Minnesota Farm Winery Act means that the wine industry in Minnesota will always be very small boutique wineries because we don't have the ability to expand beyond what we can produce here. We don't believe the law is necessary for us. We have a lot of interest in growing grapes. We have a lot of interest in the new hybrids that are being developed at the University of Minnesota. Having the vineyard surrounding the winery is an important part of attracting customers to our winery. The bucolic nature, the serenity of the vineyard contributes a lot to the atmosphere that makes people from the city want to come out to our winery. So we don't need the motivation of having to grow our own grapes. We already have it. I've long been aware of the constitutional issues with the restrictions on me as a winemaker and have felt that it was unfair. I should be able to do what so many other wineries have the freedom to do, and I shouldn't be restricted just because I'm in the state of Minnesota. The Institute for Justice works with constitutional issues, and we're very happy that they've teamed up with us to challenge this law.